Suppose you wish to generate a cobweb diagram on the calculator. Let's consider the example y equals k times x times the quantity 1 minus x. And this is the classic logistic model for sequences. And we shall select different values for k to demonstrate how to generate cobweb diagrams. So first thing we do is we hit mode and we scroll down until we get to the f u and c row and we scroll over until we highlight s e q that's sequence then we hit enter then we hit second and zoom for format and we highlight web and we hit enter then we hit y equals and we type in our function for u n for our sequence generator now in order to get to the little u that you see here you hit second and seven that brings up that little u right there to get to the n you just hit the variable key here next to the alpha button go ahead and finish entering this in and then n min will set up to be one hundredth point zero one and then we'll go back to the home screen and we'll assign a specific value for k. In our case, we'll start off with 2.9. And now we'll adjust our window so that n min is 0 and x max or n max will be 10. We'll set plot start to be 1 and plot step will be 1 and x min will be 0 and then x max will be 1. We'll keep the scaling at 1. We'll set y min to be negative 0.26 and we'll set y max to be 1.1 and then we'll set the scaling to be 1 for the y axis. Now, in order to see the diagram actually show up, you hit the trace button, and then you hit the uh, arrow keys, either left or right. So we'll hit trace, and then we'll start hitting the right arrow key so we can see the cobweb diagram actually appear. We'll hit it a few times here so we can see it clearly. And what's being displayed here is the step number, and then the x and y coordinates of the point on the uh, k times x times 1 minus x graph. Okay, So here we see one example of a cobweb diagram. I'm going to change the k value to 3.44 now and we'll see a slightly different picture. So I'll go ahead and go back to the home screen type in 3.44 and then I'll store that as k. And then I'll go back to the graph. Here we see the parabola is a little bit taller. And we have our counter, our x and y coordinates on the actual parabola itself. And we just keep hitting the right arrow button to progress through this uh, stepping and we generate a cobweb diagram this way. Now let's change the value to 3.57 for our, our last example. So we go back to the home screen, type in 3.57 and store that as K. We'll go back to the graph. And again we hit the trace button and then we start stepping our way through and we generate our cobweb diagram. And this is how you can generate cobweb diagrams on the TI-8384 calculators.